Hello everybody out there, it's me, Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials. Today it's Monday and I would like to show you a way, a really easy, smart and fast way of uh, recreating uh, logos, vector logos with the help of Illustrator. I know that Illustrator really scares people, a lot of people think that uh, Illustrator is much more difficult than Photoshop, but the reality is that uh, Illustrator and Photoshop are uh, a little advanced programs, but uh, once you know the basics, you can do whatever you like. And trust me, Illustrator is a fantastic program, a program that you will fall in love. Today I will show you how easy, fast and accurate we will reproduce and recreate this wonderful 3D kind of logo with the help of me and of course the help of the program. We will not have to pay those amounts in order to take this logo. We will create this one, maybe a better version of this one in a matter of minutes, let's say a couple of minutes if uh, you are really fast. The only thing that we really need is a sample of this one. So let's copy this one, right click copy. I will give you this uh, URL in order to see the exact uh, example. And I will go here, you see my final result or, or this one. I just did this in order to see how easy this is. I am in Illustrator Creative Cloud, but you can do this with all the versions of Illustrator. It's really basic trick. I will go to file, I will hit the new. And of course, I will just name this um, round, of course, in English, not in Greek, round logo creation. Wonderful. And I will go A4. But of course, this size doesn't really affect our design. You can use whatever size you like. I will just use the A4 and the orientation as landscape. Hit OK. And now we have uh, our uh, project. Then I will go to Edit, Paste. I will have this one as an example. And I can do two things. First of all, I can just put this over here and just creating by looking my uh, example or we can uh, actually remember our uh, kindergarten years when uh, we were putting some designs and uh, above we were putting a paper and we were design the thing above. Well, I don't really know the exact word in English. I just know it in Greek and it will drive you crazy because this word uh, it is ksepatikotura. Um, <laughs> so ksepatikotura uh, is the thing that we will do today. It's a really crazy word anyway, even for Greeks. And uh, we will put, uh, we will create actually the new design over the example. And of course, that way we will be able to be really uh, precise and of course, really fast. So I will just zoom with control and plus, and then I will just take the ellipse tool and I will go somewhere to the center of this uh, example circle and I will just create a new circle by hitting the control uh, sorry, by hitting the Alt and Shift at the same time, Option and, and Shift in Macintosh. Wonderful, you see that? Then I will just go, I will just use my arrows in order to put this uh, in the exact position. I will just make it a little more larger. Of course, I am keep holding all the time when I am uh, transforming the circle, the Alt and Shift keys in order to make a wonderful circle and not an egg shaped circle or something. So this is it. We are uh, halfway done. And uh, of course, I need to take the same color. So I'll go, I will just hit the edit cut in order to take this out. And I will just take my sampler. I will just sample this yellow color. Wonderful. Yellow eggy color, let's say. And then I will go to the edit I will just use the paste in front and then of course I just I have just lost again my color so in order to keep this one I will go to the swatches I will drag this one over the swatch and I will have this forever so I will go edit paste in front hit it wonderful 
So uh, the basic circle, the egg shape, uh, the egg color actually uh, circle is done. Then I will go to the transparency. I will just reduce the opacity at about uh, 65 in order to see behind of this circle. And then I will just take this circle. I will just go to edit, copy, edit, paste in front. I will make this smaller. So I will just, uh, you know, click one of the sides and by holding at the same time Alt and Shift, I will make a perfect smaller circle in order to cover the other white of this uh, in between, let's say, circle. So we'll go here, I will make this larger and we are almost there. A little more by Shift now, only Shift and then we are okay. So this will be, uh, let's say, the white circle, okay? And now the only thing that I need to do is to cut the egg colored circle with a white circle and then I will just uh, recreate this um, brown, dark brown, uh, you know, circle over here. So we'll just hold this white circle I will just copy this one because I will just need it afterwards. And then I will hold this one and with shift click the other one, the uh, orange, let's say, circle. I have both selected. You see that over here already. And then I will go to window. I will just hit the Pathfinder in order to take out this panel, the Pathfinder panel. And then I will just hit the minus front. And now, if you see, I have just evaporated the white circle and the yellow, the orange yellow circle is cut it. See that? It's like a, an earring or something. Wonderful. If you remember correct, I have just uh, copied the white circle just right before I use the minus front command. So that means that if I will just uh, use the command paste in front, Wonderful, I have this already there. So now I have the cutted version of this orange circle and the white circle again back in the game. But this time I will just make him smaller to the size of this black circle, let's say. And then I will go and I will go again to swatches maybe. And I will use this one or this one in order to recreate this uh, inner circle. Last but not least, I will just duplicate this one by holding the Alt. You see the double arrow over there. I'm holding the Alt, the Option, uh, and I will click and drag with Shift in order to create a duplicate. So I have here and here. I will make this a little smaller, put it again over there. So the Xepaticotura is going to be really good. And then I will hold this one, hold the back one, minus front again, and we're done. Last but not least, I will just uh, bring back the opacity 100 and we're done. So our wonderful logo is here. And the sample is there. You see that? You see how easy we can create wonderful logos and without buy anything. If you have the knowledge to use Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever is your favorite program, you will be able to create everything that you see uh, that, that you see around uh, yourself uh, in the internet with no problem. You see that? really wonderful and of course now I can just change the colors and make it look different if I like you see there's no problem from now on so that was my tutorial for you today my friends I'm your friend Evan and of course I'm coming almost every day in order to show you some really wonderful like, cool tips in creative programs like Photoshop, Premiere, uh, Illustrator and maybe more in the near future. So please like my work, share my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because if you don't subscribe you will lose me 
and you will never learn words like ξεπατικοτούρα or other uh, English, uh, Greek or German, let's say, words. So please subscribe to my channel and wait for my next tutorial. Have fun, my friends.